Could you describe um, what a healthy sleep ritual would look like or could look like? Sure, I'll, I'll describe mine first, and then I'll just say what the scientific and clinical community often recommends for people. A lot of this is what's good for you might not be good for me. And so, you know, you have to just know where you're at, basically. Usually what I'll do is um, all of the lights in my bedroom environment and home will actually turn a, a pink hue about an hour before bed. Um, and ideally we would read in, a, in another room for a while. And then um, ideally you might do some kind of relaxation exercise, like progressive muscle relaxation. And I, I make sure I do this if I know, and this is again the metacognition, if I'm particularly activated that day, I will do more of a wind down. So like if I'm like really hyper vigilant from work or something, which happens to the best of us, um, I'll make sure to, for me, I take a long bath um, and actually raising your body temperature like that has been shown to maybe improve your deep sleep too. And that'll, that's what I'll add on if I've had a particularly stressful day um, and then when I, go to, when I go to the bed, I try to go to sleep right away. That, that's the, that, that would be an ideal sleep ritual. Mm -hmm. Things that you can do to wind down, reading a book in a dimly lit room is really good. Doing a puzzle, watching a show that you know really well. Like, don't watch a new CSI episode about murder. Um, maybe watch your, the fifth, time through the office that you already like know it already it's not going to like activate some kind of new stimuli in you so any kind of relaxing exercise you know breathing nature sounds um, there's a ton of meditations out there just find what works for you